Hey friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'm going to talk about 5 interesting features of Windows 10 that you can use in your day-to-day -day life and get things done more efficiently. So let's have a look at them one by one. So the very first trick in the list is the option to print anything to PDF and let's say you have three photographs that you want to print as PDF or even a text document that you wish to convert to a PDF file. So all you need to do is right click on them and select the option print. Now when you uh, select the option print uh, under the list of printers it will give you the Microsoft PDF printer as one of the listed printers and uh, on the notepad or any other application you might get similar window wherein you will also find the Microsoft print to PDF. Now once you click on print the particular option will ask you the location where you want to save the file so uh, right now I'll just save the document onto my desktop and just give it a PDF name and uh, so once this uh, particular PDF file is generated you can open it on any free PDF readers you have. It's a very, uh, I mean, a nice trick uh, that the Microsoft has included in Windows 10 and it will save a lot of time uh, in using different uh, online tools or other application for the task. Now the next trick is the option wherein you can use, I mean, uh, scroll mouse on any background app even without selecting it. So see, uh, as you can see the F1 view is selected but still when, when my mouse is on either of the windows I can scroll it and it is an amazing feature uh, included in Windows 10 and to activate it you need to open settings and then navigate to devices here uh, you just have to click on mouse and touchpad let me minimize everything and uh, click on mouse and, uh, mouse and touchpad and see it says scroll inactive window when I hover over them so make sure it's turned on and once the feature is turned on you would be able to scroll on any window even without clicking on it whenever you hover your mouse on it. A nice feature added by Windows 10 I must say. Now the next one is the, uh, the feature wherein you can download maps offline on your computer. Now under settings when you open maps you'll get the option to save uh, a location. Now it will open up settings wherein it will get the option to download the maps. Once you click on it, it will give you the regions uh, and you need to select the particular region that you want to download. Like say India has so many regions and I want to download the Karnataka one. So once I click on it, I would have to close my maps and once it's closed, the download will automatically begin. Now this is a very helpful feature in portable laptop and tablets. I mean, it's not quite feasible. I mean, why would a desktop need a save maps? But yes, a very nifty feature for portable laptop and tablets. Now the maps that are saved offline uh, can be searched and you can even route through them. So everything is possible even without an internet connection and you can download more than one map at a given time. Now these maps do take some space on your internal memory and you can also delete them when you don't need them. Now the fourth trick is for the OneDrive users and now that is integrated deep in Windows 10. Uh, under settings you will get an option using which you would be able to fetch files from your PC anywhere on the web. Now once this option is checked and you have saved the settings all you need to do is open up your browser in any other computer and log into your OneDrive account. Now once you log in, on the left hand side you will see the list of PCs that have OneDrive installed under your credential with the feature active and once you click on your PC, it will list all the files and folders like all, even all the drives that are there on your computer. So as you can see my favorites, my libraries and uh, once you scroll down you will see all my drives along with the optical drive listed on the web. Now you would be able to view and download any of these files without any issues. So let me just try and download uh, something from my computer. So let me just go ahead and open C drive again. And as you can see, I, I, can, I can just right click on a file and even upload these files to OneDrive. 
and download it on the public or any other computer that you are using. Last but not the uh, least, you can give Windows shortcut like hotkeys to the open programs that you have. So let me just open up my virtual keyboard and let's say I want to open up the Windows Explorer which is on the number 2 or any other program. So let me just open up, I mean click on Windows and once I click on that number, so you'll have to hold down Windows key and click on the number which a task uh, which the app is there lined on the taskbar so the google chrome here is number one the windows explorer is number two the live writer is number three the irfan view is number four and so on so as you can see that windows plus desktop is like i have opened up desktop and now i would like to open up a particular shortcut now you can i'm for just for demonstration purpose i'm using an on-screen keyboard but it's very easy and very convenient to use it on a physical keyboard so friends those are the five interesting features that you must check out on windows 10 if you have any doubts or you want to give us a feedback please do mention them in the comment section if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because we always come out with such cool videos take care and have a great day ahead bye bye